rise today to appeal to my colleagues once again and not allowing the speaker to remove me from chair of the Higher Education Committee. This to me is an abuse of power. It's very divisive. She tried to get some of the blacks to uh, take the chair, but they refused it, and, and thank you for that. And when she couldn't get the blacks to do it, she got a Latino to do it, which is very, very divisive. Fortunately for us, our roots and unity with the black and Latino community will not be divided based upon the opportunism of one Latino in this body. And I say that if you want to remove me, remove me because I'm an ineffective leader. And you can't do that. I held 80 hearings. and one of those hearings, we had a textbook hearing. The Barnes and Noble showed up. And now they're going to have a rental, a textbook rental program for CUNY students where they get a 42% discount on the textbooks. I've gotten $56 million or more for the Peter Valone Scholarship, I might add over the years, hundreds of millions of dollars for capital money, blackmail initiative. I've gotten programs for immigration and with the Dominican studies and Puerto Rican studies. I've been an excellent chair. Nobody can question that. And if it's because of what happened at the charter meeting, the last meeting where people got upset, well, Council Member Christine Quinn, speaker, was on Channel 11 saying that it was a fine meeting. It was, she was excited about it. It was an exercise in democracy, so it can't possibly be that. Is it because of what happened at Fitterman Hall when a racist, Jeffrey Weisenfeld, interrupted me after I fought for eight years to get Fitterman Hall the money to rebuild it? And this racist who called Council black Member. people savages and called Hasidic Jews thieves? This racist threatened to come here on December 14th with some okay. rights from Queens, and they were assured by the speaker that they don't need to come because she is going to do what they want her to do, which was to remove me from my position as chair. So the speaker is backing up a racist instead of asking him to be removed from the board of trustees. She's, asked, she's removing me on his behalf from chair in this body. Well, Christine, I'm going to be the chair anyhow. Councilman Whether Barry, you do you like it or not, I'm going to buy my own gavel and bring it to the meeting because I will always chair people. I will always fight for their rights instead of you removing me, a very effective leader, at the time that the governor's cutting money from CUNY Council and, Barry, and Barry, cutting Barry, 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 money from TAP. You needed to support me. Point of order. The two minute rule has expired. Okay, at this point in time, we're going to have to move on with the meeting. Um, is there anybody else for a discussion of general orders? Okay, so let's move on. Silence in the balcony. We're going to have to move on with the meeting for today. Seeing no others for discussion, we're going to move on to the report of special committees. Councilman Barron, if you could please wrap up. We're moving on to the report of special committees. No. Reports of standing committees. Report of the committee on rules, privileges, elections, Reso 1. Quiet in the balcony. Silence in the balcony. Continue. Report of the committee on rules, privileges, and elections. Reso 1, making certain amendments to Rule 7.00A of the Rules of the Council. Coupled on general orders. M7, Chairperson, members of the committees of the Council. Coupled on general orders. General